Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Naomi and today I have a yoga practice to help you feel some sweet relief when you have those really unfriendly cramps. So whether it's PMS or when you are actually bleeding, this is a practice that I tend to do like right before I get my period or on that first day when I'm feeling most the most discomfort really in my low back area. So um, without any further ado, let's give you some sweet relief. So come to lie on your back, please. So on your back. Oh, I mean, really, we could just do this. <laughs> Call it good. Be like, no need for any movement, just this. But instead, bend both of your knees, place your feet on the floor about as wide apart as your mat, and drop your knees over to the left. Just let them fall. And you can intentionally lengthen through your right thigh, maybe even taking your right arm alongside your ear and turning your body to the left, which will give you just a little bit more side body stretch. Okay, and then coming back through center, releasing your right arm as well. Take your knees over to the right. Oh, yeah. And you can intentionally lengthen through your left thigh. You're not necessarily trying to get your knee to the floor. You're just pushing a little bit through your left foot to lengthen through your inner thigh. And if you want even more, left arm can go alongside your ear for just a little extra side body action. Mm. Okay, and then bring your knees back to center. Extend your left leg out, draw your right knee in towards your chest, and give your shin a little squeeze, a little bit of love. <sighs> Full breath in here. <sighs> Full breath out. And then take your left hand on top of the outside of your right thigh and slowly guide your right knee over to the left. Your right foot might come all the way over and touch the ground, or it might not. You can play around with that a little bit. You could hook your foot, your right foot, onto the back of your left thigh, which will give you a bit more support and will prevent you from taking your knee all the way over. <clears throat> or you can turn your body a bit more so that your knee comes down, if that feels better. So really just feel out how your back feels in this moment. Your gaze stays straight up though. And you could turn it to the left again because you're sort of in that crankier part of <laughs> of your cycle where, you know, your body just doesn't feel awesome. You don't necessarily want that extra rotation of turning towards your right arm. So you can look toward the left and that's gonna, again, give you more length through the right side of your body. Okay, now bring your right knee back up, but bend your left knee, put your left foot on the floor and cross your right ankle over your left thigh. And all you're doing here is widening your right thigh out to the right and forward. Okay, so if you press your right foot against your left thigh, you widen it out. Ooh, you might even be able to get your right thigh down to the ground. Okay, the, the intention is not like how far can I go. The intention is can I give that outer right hip a little bit more length? Okay. <sighs> Just one more full breath in here. Full breath out and then draw your knee in towards your chest once more. Interlace your fingers behind your thigh and extend your right leg straight up. Your left knee can stay bent unless you want to extend your left leg back out. <sighs> one more full breath in. And then release your right leg all the way down to the ground and draw your left knee towards your chest. Just give it oof, a little squeeze. And then take your right hand to the outside of your left knee and slowly guide your left leg over to the right side. Again, your left knee does not have to come all the way down. Mm. 
do try to keep your left shoulder down if you can. But you can turn your gaze towards your right shoulder so that you're not overdoing the rotation of your spine. Okay, this is more about creating relief for your low back. So if you need to adjust where your legs are, you can do that. If you want to place your hand like right above your left butt cheek and press into it as you go over, that can also give you just a little bit more low back support. And then bring your knee back up, bend your right knee as you do, put your foot on the floor and cross your left ankle on top of your right knee. Then use that pressure, like push your ankle into your thigh and widen your left thigh forward and down. Just widen it forward and down. Oh yeah. Mm. And again, you can do this a few times. You can do it once and then sort of bring your leg back in, widen out. Your right hip might pull up a little bit. It's definitely gonna lift off the floor, but it might pull up towards your shoulder. That's fine. Because your focus is your left hip, the front of your thigh. Okay, and then bring your left knee back in, interlace your fingers behind your left thigh, extend your left leg straight up. You can take your right leg straight out if you wish or keep your knee bent, that's up to you. Okay, but one more full breath in here. Full breath out. <sighs> and then release your left leg all the way down to the ground and just take a pause for a moment. Give your legs a little bit of a wiggle. Roll to your favorite side. Push yourself up and come to sit with your left leg bent in, right leg straight out. So if you want to blanket underneath your hips to give yourself a little bit more lift, you can go ahead and do that. Okay, but from here, just reach, reach your right hand over towards your right leg, extend your left arm up, and if you can, reach your left arm over. You do not have to reach down and grab your right foot with your left hand. Just reach over, and you can use your right hand to push into the ground and create more length. Okay, more link through the back of your body on the left side. Oh yeah. Okay, then lift yourself back up. Place your left hand down on the ground. Lift your hips up and extend your right arm alongside your ear. Now again, this is not a back bend. Reach down and forward. Okay, so you're getting length on the right side. Now place your right hand on the ground. You can come up onto your fingertips and slide your left knee over to the left so that you come into pigeon pose. Okay, and then fold forward. Nothing to do here, just fold forward. You can release the top of your right foot down to the floor. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. Okay, slide your right knee in towards your left thigh, so you're staying low, and walk over toward your left leg and just give yourself a little bit of a twist so you come upright. And then come on back through center. Okay, right knee is bent, so all you have to do is let your right knee sort of flop over to the right, extend your left leg out, and they're gonna start this whole sequence on the second side. So left hand down, reach your right arm up, and then maybe take your right arm alongside your ear and just lengthen out through the whole right side of your body. Full breath in here. Mm. Full breath out. And then lift yourself back up. Place your right hand over to the right behind you. Lift your hips. Extend your left arm alongside your ear. So again, not a back bend. You're trying to reach down. Give yourself a lot more back body stretch. 
then place your left hand down, scoot your right knee over to the right, and come down into pigeon pose. Okay, so you don't have to take your right knee very far to the right. Okay, if you're feeling any discomfort in your knee, the more it is toward the center, it's gonna feel a little better on your knee. If you don't have any discomfort, you can take your right knee slightly wider than your hip, and just fold forward here. Again, you can have the top of your left foot down on the ground. <sighs> and then lift yourself up just a little bit. Slide your left knee so that it comes right up against your right foot. So both knees are bent and twist towards your right leg. You can bend your elbows and just lengthen forward. And take a full breath in here. Full breath out. And then come on back up, come back to center, lift your left knee. Bring the soles of your feet together, not quite Baddha Konasana. So Baddha Konasana, your feet are closer in, also known as bound angle pose. You can bring your feet a little bit further out, okay, so that you have more space. Stretch up really long and tall through your body and just walk forward just a little bit. Okay, and how far forward you go depends on your hips and your back and all kinds of things. Fill up through the back of your body. Relax your head and neck. Mm. And then walk yourself back up. Oh, and that's it. So I hope that that mellow practice gave your low back and your uterus some big time relief <laughs> and that it gave you the opportunity to create some movement instead of that stagnation that is so easy to feel, you know, when you are just before your period starts or right after your period starts and it just feels heavy and gross and really tense, okay? Um, so do let me know what you thought of this practice, as always, in the comments. Um, let me know if there's anything else that you want to see on this channel, because I am here to create videos for you that will support you and make your life that much better and more enjoyable in your body. Okay, so let me know what else you want to see. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time to practice with me, especially at a time like this, when your body needs the most, but when you might not want to move it. Um, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and click on that little, little button in the bottom right hand corner so that you can get videos like this every single week delivered to your inbox totally for free. Okay, so I hope to see you again next Sunday or whenever it is that you are able to tune into this channel again and um, have a fantastic week, day, month, minute, year, all the time. Be well. <laughs> I'll see you back in the mat again really soon. <laughs> Until then. Bye.